Streets, both sides of 35E are now closed northbound and southbound. We're on the southbound side. It's closed. That's why we're on the road. I'm going to step out of the shot so you can see what's going on. You see that big wrecker? That wrecker is there attempting to get ready to turn over right side up. The 18-wheeler, multiple 18-wheelers are down. We just physically got here on the scene about 10 minutes ago, but you guys have been seeing images for now close to an hour. Uh, roads are closed on both sides again on 35 E North and South. This is between Waxahachie and Forreston. Now we have not gotten any reports of any injuries just yet or uh, if there are any injuries. Uh, Texas DPS is saying that they are aware of this crash, aware of this, and saying that other partners like Ellis County Emergency Management and the National Weather Service will be giving more information on their side of things. Again, multiple vehicles disabled, multiple vehicles are damaged, some completely totaled. We don't know at this time how many injuries or if there are any injuries reported here. Multiple emergency officials are here on the scene. We know that, that tornado warning may be gone, but the rain is still coming down very heavy. We saw some standing water, some rushing water in a lot of areas uh, in, in Ellis County and here near Waxahachie and Forreston. But as you can see, the long line of vehicles completely at a standstill. That's the northbound side of 35 uh, here and we're on the southbound side. It's completely closed, an emergency vehicle driving by right now, but the, all the cars on that side are, are stopped as well. Again, we don't know the extent of any injuries. We know that this damage is most likely weather-related, but to what extent of weather-related damage, we don't know just yet, and so we're hoping to get more information soon. Yeah, extremely heavy rain right now. What's the concern for flooding, not just in this area, but, but all around? Well, that is a concern, and we were actually stalled getting here because there was some flooding, and I mean to the point on an access road to 35 that we literally saw water rushing to the side. At least two vehicles were stuck in the water. Uh, everyone appeared to be okay, but it was fine enough for emergency personnel to come out and notice that the left lane was clear and so allowed us to get here on 35, and literally minutes after we got here, now both sides are completely closed. And are, when we see the video of all the flashing lights and all the vehicles, the 18 wheelers, are we talking at least a mile? Could it be more than a mile? I think it's less than a mile and, uh, of the damage. And the good vantage point that we came from was the south side. So we were able to see from the end to end of this damage less than a mile Clarice definitely not a mile long of damage um, but there are multiple 18 wheelers down multiple vehicles down we see people walking around which is a good sign I see uh, ambulances here we haven't seen any drive off which is also possibly a good sign meaning a lot of people did not have to be transported but again we physically just got here and so we don't know how many emergency personnel already left the scene but definitely not a mile i would not say a mile we were able to see the whole length of it and uh, going about five miles per hour by it well we were able to cover it in about 10 seconds so definitely not a mile but extensive damage here and the unfortunate thing is these emergency personnel are having to work in this constant rain. We keep seeing different waves of the rain coming down. And so I think the rain stopping would help the uh, the progress in trying to assess things. Uh, but we're, we're trying to stand by to see if there are any injuries, how many injuries, hopefully no fatalities. So we're hoping to get that information, hopefully in the coming minutes.